Hello you beautiful people and welcome back to Let's Play The Outer Worlds where we are for the first time actually gonna leave this or oh, actually technically we left the planet but we are gonna go to the next system. Ah, we could theoretically go everywhere. Okay, active quest. Okay, let's then fast travel. Ah, we are on Terra 2. Okay, that I did not know. Or I might forgot. Welcome to the system map. I'm off the system map. I would have expected that before. You can see all the plans in the system as well as some special points of interest that you may have discovered. You can fly your ship to any location that you have unlocked, though some landing base require special codes and keys before they allow you to land there. Moving between planets is considered extremely dangerous and all employees are encouraged to remain home. Red World. Breaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. But did we already dock? Okay. Can we talk? Oh uh, yeah, why not? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? What about her? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. Sure, we could head over to engineering now. I thought you said you could keep this boat in good repair. Are you asking to leave my crew and join hers? I don't think she'd much help, but if you happen to be along, feel free to speak up. Okay, sure, we could head over to engineering. We are kind. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? Um. No, break time's over. Then, lady, come with me. And of course we, oh, party, oh, all right. Okay, of course her. And here we are, I wonder. Where our companion is but did i not select a companion that's not the point this hat would just knock out one of my workers and yes i will do the Customs skill inspection right this way point at a point identification please uh, my name i let's I don't have any idea what happened then. Hmm? Captain Hawthorne, you said. Let me apologize in advance. I'm about to ruin your day. According to your ship's record, you've been flagged by the board. Your ship will be impounded until such a time as they see fit to lift it. How do I get this resolved? So I'm stuck here. Um, I take it back. <laughs> I'm not Hawthorne and that isn't my ship. That would be cool. You'll want to take it up with Udom Bedford our board representative here on Groundbreaker. His office is located along the starboard wall of the promenade. Shines like a Byzantium commode. You can't miss it. Access to that information is above my pay grade, and I've turned down three promotions, so it stays that way. I shouldn't be mentioning it, but what the hell? This here, impounding your ship, it doesn't happen much. The board knows we don't take kindly to their interfering in our operations. If I had to take a guess as to why, you must have riled up someone important. Okay, this has to be a mistake. I'm going to ring. No, great. I'll talk to him and straighten this you out. You take the starch out of him. Well, you won't hear any complaints from me. Oh, and if you're headed that way, would you mind doing me a favor? Hmm. Okay. Wanda Dorset over in sickbay. Tell her the shipment's not in yet. It's not coming in anytime soon, and if she'd be so obliged to get off my ass about it. A handful of SAM cleaning units retrofitted for surgery. I don't know much else. I stopped listening when she started yelling. Much appreciated. Is there anything else I can help you with? Mm, ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm looking for someone named Gladius. The fence. You'll find her in the rest and go. On your left when you enter the promenade. Make sure you bring an empty belly. Um, pop up. Can I find a job around here? 
maybe. Most of the shipping traffic in the system passes through Groundbreaker. Every couple of months, we even get a big interstellar freighter. Two biggest operations are the board, that is, Halcyon Holdings and Sublight Salvage. But there are independent operators around the promenade deck. Most of those jobs are going to take you off station, though. That I thought. How does... How, I cannot pronounce that holdings work anyway. Are you pulling my leg? I'm new around here. You must be one of them long-haul freighters from outside the colony. Well, I won't hold it against you. It goes like this. Back on Earth, before the crossing, the powers that be were selling off stakes in distant star systems they thought had potential. A bunch of companies decided to throw in together and form the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, then buy up the rights to this here colony. That groups what we now call the board. Okay. Groundbreaker was one of the original colony vessels to come over on the crossing, a few years before her sister ship, the Hope. Once everybody had been de-thawed and dropped dirt side, the original crew of the Groundbreaker decided they rather liked the spacefaring life. I guess that was the start of our independent spirit. Now, here we are. Okay, the board runs most of the system, don't they? Yep. Groundbreaker's the only real independent port. Aside from us, there's just tramp freighters and wildcat miners. Seems like every year the board's offices get bigger and their ships take up more of the landing bays. Haven't seen nearly as many tramp crews this year. So there's actually a boardroom somewhere with all of these company heads in it. Sitting around drinking whiskey and smoking cigars, yeah, probably. Can't say for sure, of course. Doubt I'll ever see the inside of it myself. Glad to help. Okay, I don't think there are many independent operations in the system. Relative to the board holdings? Not really. But there's a few with the means to go where they will. They aren't rich, but they aren't likely to look too close at your work history either. Uh, what do you know about Sublight Salvage? They strip the parts from derelict ships and abandoned outposts. There's some that say they make the derelicts and encourage folks to abandon their steads. Sublight gives me the creeps. I've known folks who went to work for them and just vanished. They're on the promenade run by a woman named Lilia Hagen. I'm only telling you so you know to avoid them. Okay, I'm looking for something a little more local. Commandant Sanita might have a couple of folks she needs killed. Bad folks, I mean. Not, uh, not regular folks. She'll be at the security desk behind me. Chief Jun Lei might have an errand needs running. She's all tied up trying to fix our heat problem. You'll find her in engineering. Okay. Um, long term, all right. If you're thinking to make a career here, don't waste your time. Full-time jobs on Groundbreaker tend to be inherited, or go to a fellow crew member's kid. Keep it in the family, you know. All right. Okay, Rick, can you tell me about Udom Bedford? Sorry that I go through um, all the conversation, but I think that is a little bit um, important. He's friendly enough unless you speak ill of the board. Get the sense he doesn't care for Groundbreaker much. Not that he would, being a board man and all. He's our liaison. So there's tension between Groundbreaker and the board. They can't abide an independent township, especially not one they gotta depend on. We're the first and last stop out of this colony. All their interstellar freighters come through us, and we skim a few bits off the top and manifest processing fees with every one. Folks around here will bluster that the board hates our freedom, but really, they know we can stop their out-system shipments any time we like, and that terrifies them. Okay, why can't Groundbreaker and the board just work together? I'm glad to the pastors keep pushing them. You sure you didn't just step off one of the interstellar freighters? There's no working with the board. They don't share. Not bits, people, or resources. You work for them, or you don't work at all. Groundbreaker cooperating now would be tantamount to joining their ranks, and we sure as shit ain't about to do that. Okay, I'm glad it terrorizes them, the bastards keep pushing them, sounds complicated. Sounds like, yeah. But from where I sit, it's all coming through loud and clear. They got assault cruisers, gunships, and a handful of mining operations at their fingertips. We push them too hard, maybe they decide we'd be better in ten trillion little pieces. Or, they cobble together a new Groundbreaker and put us out of business. Sure thing. 
Most places are on the promenade deck. Big door yonder, straight through security. There's a bar on the starboard side. I got a preference for the Lost Hope myself. Talk to Vera, she'll set you right. You need anything else? You let me know. Don't want anyone saying Groundbreaker's not the most hospitable port in the colony. All right. Be seeing you. Then I'd say... Let us go through and in... You know, we had a lot of conversation here. Hey, move along. And I would actually, oh sorry, would like to do, to make something, to finish something off. Then let's try to do this quest. I picked up this weird signal the other right. day, it was coming from Monarch. Oh, that looks nice. And I guess this is only, okay, yes. I know she's in there, Mfuru. You can't keep me out of there. Please don't make a scene. What seems to be the problem? Can I buy some supplies? We seem, we seem well stocked. Not stop. without dispensation from Chief Jun Lei, I fear. Supplies are hard to come by out here. We don't have the ability to manufacture our own medical supplies here on Groundbreaker. Regrettably, we are dependent on the board for such mundane items as bandages and antibiotics, as well as more critical resources like adequately trained staff. We'd nearly signed a supply agreement with Anticleos, but they demanded we only use their branded drugs, and that's simply not tenable. Okay. Take care. Now we only need to get in there, right? Oh, that... okay. I thought that why because she had a problem we would have a problem. <coughs> okay, that's restricted. I ain't found a ID cartridge used with a holographic shroud. You will not be automatically disguised when entering associated restricted area. Nice. That was a complete coincidence. Okay, to finish up, let's can't say I've seen you before. I take it you're a freighter, Captain? No, if you're not here to better yourself, you'll have to wait. We're having a spot of trouble with our delivery service. Rila told me to tell you, get off his ass about your shipment. Rila says your shipment won't be coming in soon. What's going on? Better myself, isn't this the med bay? Um, I'm not gonna do the get um, off his ass thing. He must be referring to Erion. I'm sure the fool's gotten himself into another scrape. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm ever going to get my service mechanicals at this rate. Um, we could... Okay, no. What? Who's Iron? Our delivery man. A brave idiot with a penchant for getting himself delayed. Sometimes by dates, usually by bandits. Mm-hmm. What do you need mechanicals for? Surgery, mostly. Medical personnel are difficult to come by on Groundbreaker. Why is that? The board won't let their doctors and nurses station here, and they own all the medical schools. If we can't hire their people, we can't hire anyone. Everyone on staff here on Groundbreaker was trained by me or Idris. We're good, don't get me wrong. But we've only two heads between us, and we don't know everything. I could try to find him. I'd be grateful if you'd spare the time. We need his delivery soon as yesterday. Last he told me, he was taking a shortcut by Scylla, an asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. That's where I'd start, were I the adventuring type. You look out though, the place is probably crawling with outlaws. Okay, at least we got the information. That is good. We... I wanna, since we are here, do the conversations. We are... Wait, wait, wait. Let me see something. It says in this direction, but I hope... So to say hope, that would lead us back to our ship, right? Yes. Okay. We will then actually doing the companion quests... Quests? Quests in the... I if we can finalize it so I guess the 
maybe I'm not gonna do the episode after the next a little longer, but for now um, you can consider that we will Spratwurst render, that we will do a little bit more of conversation in the next episode. So, guys, if you actually do have enjoyed this episode, then you guys, please give me, there will be action-filled episodes, yes? And remember, this is an RPG game. Um, and if you have enjoyed it, please, guys, give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.